Hey everyone, this is Greg with Spotted Tongue Woodworking, and in this video, I'm just going to go over the Skill RT 1323-01 router table. It's not the nicest or the newest or the fanciest router table on the market. Uh, it's also not the cheapest router table on the market. It's close. But what really spoke to me was the fact that it came with a router and it came with a table for the low price of 200 bucks. And you can see just in the unboxing portion of this video, uh, it's fairly well packaged. You know, not too many pieces, not too many parts. You know, it's two legs, a top, router, fence, and a couple little doodads and gadgets that go along with that. There, you know, it's not hard to make a good router table. At least I don't think it is. And there are a couple few things that I think are really important with uh, having the accuracy of the router table. First is the fence. When you move these adjustable fences, when you move from one side of the fence to the other, that the pieces move in a coplanar flat fashion that they will not catch or jump or stick as you move across the sides and the next would be that the top is flat uh, you can see with assembling the router table it's just the two legs and the base it's a very simple design very easy design not very hard to do undo the bolts put them back in slide it into place tighten them down and you got, just want to make sure that the plastic housing where the router bits and the storage are that they are facing the right way. I assembled them the wrong way the first time. And like I said, there's just a few things that are really important. First is the fence that you can move across the fence without catching. And the second would be the flatness of the top. The top of this router table, um, the tabletop is made of MDF and it did crown a little bit in the middle. Uh, I imagine crowning is better than bellying because of the way that the legs will support it and the weight of the router, perhaps it will level out with time. Attaching the router is simply enough. Take the base plate off of the router, detach the base plate from underneath the router table, line up the holes from the router to the router table base plate, and slide it into place. It's actually a really cool mechanism where a little latch and a little slide and some levers. I've had uh, the router table I had previously, I have had the router actually fall out of the table while it was running. This has a mechanical catch that even if the screws loosen, it will still not fall out and you do not have to worry about it coming loose while running and damaging either you or the table. One of the features that really caught my eye with this router table um, is no besides the fact that it comes with the router and the router table you know if we were just check it for square with a big bit in there uh, the router is square to the table so that's nice is the adjustment the top down adjustment just like that you see that on much more expensive router base plates router lift kits and with a $200 router table to have that functionality is incredible and you can see it comes with two feather boards comes with a miter gauge and ring inserts along with router bit storage pieces that will fit into those side compartments. There's a lot of small little details, small little pieces that, you know, are fairly standard when you buy a router table, but they're still nice to have, still nice to see, and especially nice that you have some place to put them. So that was nice. Soft start. Really nice, square, stable, really smooth spinning. Very happy with how it sounds. There's the jointing feature on the back side of the fence that will also help with alignment. This is the new, or not new, this is the skill router table. It comes with the skill router. You know, we've gone through, taken it out of the box, we assembled it, we put it together, we've done all these things, tested it real quick to see how it runs, how it sounds. And overall, all the features, the fact that the table and the router has a jointing, jointing feature on the fence, in the router storage in there, adjustable height from the top, soft start, LED light, you know, feather boards, the whole shebang. For 200 bucks, this is a steal. You know, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have multiples of these, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them up. I'm gonna have one for my rails, one for my styles, one for raised panel doors, and they're gonna stay set up the way they are. Because for that price, I can buy three, four, five of these for the same price as one of the higher end router tables, which you know take up more space and you change the bit in and out all around. And for the most part, unless I'm pattern, pattern routing a large piece, this is the perfect size for a cabinet shop like mine. 
it, he's uh, unbelievable. You know, the old school uh, cabinet shop, they would have these old craftsman router tables. They have one router in there, one bit in there, and that's what it's used for. And this is a fantastic opportunity to build a whole shop, a lot of profiles, really increase the versatility and increase the production level of your shop at an extremely low price point. This is an incredible buy. You know, time will tell how it stands up over the test of time. Usually that lower price point doesn't have the durability that the high price point does. But for now, I'm excited. I think this would be a great addition to any shop just to have around. You know, and especially, you know, how quickly the legs come on, how quickly the legs come off. This will be a breeze to throw in the back of my van and take to a job site with me. You. you know, it's incredible versatility, incredible adaptability, a lot of little features that you know you don't find on a price router table and router at this price point. You know, comparable would be cobalt, which you know would be light years behind this. You can get a Bosch table table, no router, just for this point. You get a Ryobi table, just the table for this point. And they, they put a lot of thought, a lot of engineering. I'm really, really excited to use this router table. So the skill router table, it's been a couple days now since I've unboxed it since my first initial impressions, which were really positive initial impressions. I've used it a couple times. I like it. I don't love it. And I'll tell you why I don't love it. Um, and it's primarily, you know, the adjustment, the, easy, the ease of adjustment with the adjustment on top of the table, it's fantastic. It's real simple. Very nice, very, very much, much more precise than trying to do it by hand underneath the table. So it's a very nice, very nice feature. What I don't like are the fences. I don't like the MDF fences because one, they have a little, they have, they have flex to them. You know, plastic has flex, and the MDF does have flex to it. And but then they are not actually coplanar as I initially thought that there is a little bit of a bump switching from one face to the other face. And this face, this, outside, this outboard face, does have the jointing feature, which you can adjust it, but it does not seem to be, you know, because even if you adjust it out, the problem that you run into, like I said, is that it is, it is flexy. It does flex, it does move, it's not as precise as I had hoped it would be, but for 200 bucks, I'm not going to complain too much about it. I'm just saying that it's not as coplanar as I hoped it would be. It may not be quite as precise as I hoped it would be. You know, I'll have to try it out with a coping sled, with a style bit, and see if I can't see how that transition goes. So if this was a $200 table that did not come with a router, I'd be upset. This is a $200 table that comes with a $100 router um, on its own. So it's a $100 table, which, you know, for a $100 table, this is incredible. This is great. This is amazing for what it's able to do. There's just tiny little things that, you know, you would expect out of a $1,000 table that, you know, my hopes are high for this one. I'd say this is a great buy. I'd still, I would still think about buying another one Maybe think about a different different fences. You either use like a maple or a, something harder, something stiffer on these fences, and shim them out and make sure that they are coplanar. Because of the price of this, you know, I can put a little bit of work into it, making this work. Um, dust collection was great. It's nice having. There's a little LED light, so there is light that shines up, so you can see, you know, a little bit of little bit of light, a little bit of illumination. It's a great little table. It, it really is, you know, definitely on the buy list if you're looking for a little benchtop router table that's not going to break the bank, that has some really nice features, and also comes with another router. So there you go.